All for sale now, Vehicle Max, you have a beautiful 2010 Nissan Titan Crew Cab SE with only 31,000 miles. It has a clean title and a clean Carfax. You can view right now for free at our website, VehicleMax.net. has the uh, step bars on the side, a toolbox in the rear, privacy tinted glass, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1982 and sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. It's a 5.6 liter V8. It's flex fuel capable, meaning you can put that E85 flex fuel that costs about 30 cents less per gallon, but it doesn't mean that you have to put that fuel. It just means you're capable of putting. You can just put regular on leather or premium on leather, whatever, whichever you wish. We got um, parking sensors in the rear bumper. There are two on each side. These are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object. Class three heavy duty tone package receiver there. And we have a diamond plate uh, toolbox here that uh, is lockable, which we have the keys for. The rear glass is a power sliding uh, glass, which I'll demonstrate for you in just a minute when I get inside of the vehicle. Car has no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no major scratches or touch-ups of any kind. Four-wheel disc brakes, and it's still under the manufacturer's warranty of bumper-to-bumper uh, -bumper and powertrain. But for more details, check uh, the Carfax so we can see uh, when was the in-service date to make sure we still got a uh, bumper-to-bumper. I know powertrain for sure, because powertrain is 560, bumper-to-bumper -bumper is only 336, so it depends when the car was sold. For more details, again, give me a call at 305-218-5462, and I can double-check that for you. Power seat, power recliner. Got remote controls on the steering here for the, st uh, for the stereo here, for the volume. Also got Bluetooth, and you can control um, uh, the stereo here, change from AM to FM. Cruise control on this side. Got bucket seats with console shifter. Here's to disable the rear parking sensors in case you're towing a boat or a trailer. When you put, uh, when you put the car in reverse, it would be beeping the whole time. So if you wanted to uh, disable them temporarily so it's not beeping, all you got to do is press that button. All right, um, we got also curtain side airbags. Let's go ahead and get inside and get it started. Of course, we also got automatic, um, we got power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel. Uh, the two front windows are automatic, meaning one touch up and one touch down. Okay, get it started now. And let's turn on the AC. Nice and hot out today. The car has, you know what, let's put the windows down first because it's a little dark in here because of the tints. Uh, one touch, it means you don't have to hold the switch of the window to go down. All right, the car has, the truck has 31,371 miles. Uh, below there, you can also see the outside temperature, which is 89 degrees. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer on the left-hand side. I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance soon, nothing like that. The truck is running perfectly. The only light that's on there is the seatbelt light because I'm not worried my seatbelt to shoot a video. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and uh, turn on the stereo here. Can raise the volume here as I was telling you before. Alright, um, the button down here, this is to navigate about your preset stations. Okay, here is our, for your Bluetooth. The mode takes you from AM to uh, second AM to auxiliary. This is your um, iPod port, which is down here. 
for you can play your uh, iPod music right in your um, stereo sound system here and FM okay uh, this is uh, an mp3 WMA 6 disc CD changer all right um, automatic transmission down here we have a towing haul mode and uh, this is in case you're towing a boat or a trailer you want to press that it makes the transmission shift a little differently to allow for the extra cargo load and also disables the overdrive um, you got cup holders here to the right of the uh, the shifter got a little coin tray here or you could put actually put like pens or stuff there uh, in this section here it's just like a big old storage pocket there but if you want have like a a bottle or maybe one of those uh, big gulp type drinks like 32 ounces this little arm swings out you can put it there so it doesn't uh, fall down uh, here where you rest your elbow you got like a little tray you can put stuff on top of it you open it here and you got another deep storage down here and see if I can reach it here your main glove box is over here and here are the owner's manual with its casing and all supplemental booklets are right in there got down here a cigarette lighter adapter so you can charge your phone or uh, use a cigarette lighter by the way there's no burn holes anywhere on the seats door panels headliner carpeting and there's no odor of smoke so it looks like the previous owner was a non-smoker okay um, up in the top here we've got a switch I think this is a switch for the yeah for the uh, rear for the rear glass okay that's right here on the overhead console here use your microphone for your uh, Bluetooth this pocket should be for uh, sunglasses you can put there or anything else so you got another one here same thing you can put sunglasses in either one or put anything you want up there uh, this rear view mirror is an auto dimming rear view mirror uh, what it does is when somebody puts their high beams on you it senses the bright light and it darkens the mirror for you so it doesn't bother your vision also in the upper right hand corner you see is an uh, E there that's your compass lets you know that you're going or heading and uh, pointing in the east direction got map lights up here on either side vanity mirrors with lighting and an extension here and we also got our you can hard to see here probably you can see here better curtain side airbags on the front post as well all right let me see if I'm missing anything else here okay your cruise controls on this side as I was telling you leather wrap steering wheel and I'll pan around the nice and slow so you can see it's in great shape in the meantime let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street Miami Florida 33142 is our zip code open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always close on Sundays take a look at the dashboard now so you can see that there are no burn holes or cracks it's not lifting up anywhere nice and clean truck I believe it's a one owner all right I think we're ready to move on to the back by the way you got um yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the back and I'll show you the other options from the back there for the seating area here you got a manual tilt wheel here cargo lamp this is a crew cab and uh, right now as you can see the front seat is about halfway and there's still plenty of room back here so you can put a nice uh, somebody here that's five, six foot or taller and it'll be nice and comfortable back here um, in the back of the center consoles, you, you got uh, AC vents for the middle row for the rear row passengers. This pops out into a cup holder. Another cigarette lighter adapter here. Got these uh, rugged uh, floor mats that hold dirt inside of them because the, the edges are lift, lifted inside there. The rear door panels are the same as in the front, all charcoal black. This vehicle is equipped with the child lock protection. I'll show you how it works. You flick that little switch there, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you get small kids and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the uh, door is the outer handle. To re-engage, just do the opposite. And this handle will start working again. Uh, I'll give you a look at the headliner here so you can see that there are no burn holes or stains or cuts. It's not sagging anywhere. This is a five passenger, two in the front and three in the back. And they all have an over the shoulder built including the middle row passenger which uses this one here if you don't have a middle row passenger you can lift this down here into a cup holder and armrest all right um get anchors for your baby car seat one on each side here it's hard to see because it's the same color as a car but that means in here there's a hook 
on both sides so you can tie down your baby car seat. Uh, not only do we have the um, curtain side airbags, but we also have seat side airbags. Okay. And let me go back to the front for just a second to show you how the rugged mats. Okay. And what I mean by that is this lip is kind of raised, so it, the dirt that falls in there kind of comes stays in there, and you can lift the, the rug right out and dispose of it. Okay. Um. This is uh, we can't do it from one. We can't lift it from one side. You gotta lift the other side at the same time. This is another latch over there. Uh, but it's lockable. We've got the keys here for it. All right. Uh, this truck, whoever had it, didn't use it for work because. Uh, Usually in the work trucks from taking stuff on and off the bed you get like little scratches and nicks or even this plastic gets like scratched and damaged and uh, as you can see this one is in perfect shape. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape also. They don't have any scratches or scuffs or dents. They're nice and clear. They're not hazy. Got mud guards all around. <clears throat> all right, let's pop this down here a minute. And the bed liner is in great shape. Just got a little bit of dust or sand up in there, you know, but nothing is just not from uh, sitting outside outdoors. All right, again, it's a 5.6 liter V8 SE model, flex fuel capable. Again, that doesn't mean you have to put that fuel, it just means if you want to, you can. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. Give you another look at this panel here so you can see. That it's not dented or scratched, even these plastics here are in immaculate condition, so definitely you know whoever had it didn't use it for work. Uh, again, you get also these are the nice wide heavy duty uh, step bars, about five or six inches wide. Privacy glass in the rear. The door panels, again, same thing, all charcoal black. I'm sure by now you notice that there are no burn holes or cuts or scuffs. None of the speaker covers are cracked. You got pockets here in the side. Give you another look at the interior from this angle here. Look like where I had this car, it didn't have too many rear passengers because back here it's nice and uh, clean, I uh, would say borderline immaculate. All right, let's move on to the front. And after that, we'll conclude the video. I'm going to show you every door panel, every seat. The passenger seat is manual, it's not power. It has a handle here in the bottom. You pull to slide the seat back and forth, and to recline, you use the manual here. Let's talk about financing for just a minute. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even have some programs for really rough credit. If you live a long distance away and you're concerned about the financing, or you just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, all you got to do is go to the website, vehiclemax.net, Right on the home page, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.